Welcome to Amnesia the Bunker. This is Jim. We are back here again today. And if you watched the last episode, uh, we survived a session where we don't have any fuel for the generator. So we went down to the uh, soldier quarters and uh, hid under a couple beds from rats and uh, from the beast. And we were quite successful at it. And it was quite uh, thrilling. And at the same time, we also uh, found some fuel, you can see here. Uh, I do want to kind of save this fuel because I find fuel is a little hard to come by. I like to put some of this some of this fuel in our uh, little stash box here, whatever you want to call it. And um, I do want to try to find a lighter, um, is when you try to Try to mix and match some of the stuff here. Oh, I meant, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, um, you can make a torch, but you need a lighter in order to light it up. And I have yet to find that lighter, and I don't even know if it even exists, <laughs> for that matter. Uh, but we got some aid on us, which we're going to need, uh, because the rats will harm you in a way where you, if you start bleeding, the uh, beast will come out and try to find you. <laughs> so I'm going to hide this fuel that we have and um, have this stuff on us. And I might bring a bottle with me just so I can kind of throw it around and make some noise or whatever. But uh, I do want to do another session where I'm uh, kind of in the darkness is I do find the fuel does go by pretty fast as you've as you've seen. Of course we don't have any bullets. I don't know why I'm holding this watch. <laughs> Let's hide this watch. Alright. I'm gonna hide this gun. There we go. <laughs> so the only thing to keep an eye on is the fact that let's save this bad boy. Here we go is that when it's dark like this, the beast is hunting you. Now, I have yet to see the beast up in this area. Um, the only times we see the beast, that I've seen the beast, are the areas that we go to where um, the kind of frame kind of stops a little bit. That's the only place, like, up here we'll hear the beast, but we don't see it. So I don't know if that's a thing or not, but uh, I just wanted to kind of add that in. In case you guys are playing the game and you're thinking, hmm. Now, it's been a little while since I've gone to certain parts, but it almost as if it seems like the game has changed a little bit. Now I don't know why it seems like that to me, but it seems like when I played it the first couple episodes, before I found that uh, lockdown wheel, it seems to me I was able to get to uh, officer quarters and, and, and soldier quarters without going through any kind of gate, gated area, or once was a gated area. Oh, there's our brick. Good. For some reason I was thinking I had uh, brought that with me somewhere. But I can't remember exactly where I went. Oh, there's fuel right here too. Good, nice, nice. I didn't even know that. I didn't even see that fuel there. We had uh, 
walked by it a couple times. I guess I've never walked around this uh, this way to see that uh, let it light up like that. Huh, interesting. That's why it always pays to kind of go back, even in the rooms that you've already been in. Now, I've, I've always kind of went through this way or the other way, and I just didn't see that fuel sitting there, which is pretty cool. I'm all right by that. So if I don't see it, I'm not going to use it, right? <laughs> I don't believe we know any more codes. Let's uh, check here real quick. Yeah, they're all crossed off, so. All the codes, codes we have used up. Officer quarters and soldier quarters are two different things. The soldier quarters is where we were uh, last episode. And they were just a room full of different beds. But I think when we first started the game in the first couple episodes, we were actually in the officer quarters, so I'm going to have to go back to those uh, episodes and. He is up here. Yeah, he is up here. Because you hear the heartbeat from my little guy. This is the heartbeat and the blurriness is what gives it away. Wow, okay. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> and save it again. Just because we're here. And uh, we'll put this fuel in here. That's pretty good. We got four fuel. That's awesome. That's awesome. I would like, I would like to find some more fuel, just so we have. But I want to make my way back to the uh, officer's quarters. That's where it was. That's what I was saying. Again, didn't I? So this is where we were in that. All right. This is where I need to bring that brick. <laughs> Excuse me. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to change... ...those, uh... Episodes. Are we in here before? We had to have been in here before. Sergeant Hubert to M. Fournier and the Blanchett 
engineers have broken through our storage area into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, I guess I was skeptical of at least this point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels, we found urns, latent texts, etc. Do our best to preserve some material for repository. Updates to follow. Interesting. Not right there. Thought we came in here, but maybe I'm wrong. Now one thing I did find out is that we can hide under tables and under beds. Oh we're not we're not in, we were not in here before. How did I miss this? That's why I say it's always good to check back. You just never know what's gonna happen. Maybe it's the game changing, who knows. Oh, hold on. June the 3rd, 1916 from B. Delby to Mr. M. Fournier and D. Blanchett et al. After raid this of last evening, you have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps, 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014, I would like to hold before capture. He ripped his rank and insignia from the uniform, but his rank remains unknown. His capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise that might be the soldier or the prisoner that's down in the prison. Uh, the one that's kind of still there, which is interesting. That's cool. Prisoner in custody, so that's buddy that won't shut up down there. Rome in the hallway. Sounded like you broke a door down. Did you hear that though? Wow, 
Yeah, he's out in the hallway. Oh. I don't dare lock those because he can come to those little tunnels somehow. Huh. Alright, so that's good. He's kind of gone. <laughs> Nice bottle. That's that uh, room. Planchette. That's the room that I want to destroy to get in using the brick. I wonder what the duration is from the timing that he uh, that he returns. You know what I mean? right in the room. See ya. You just barely saw him walk by the table. <laughs> you heard the little light thing going. Save. Grab that brick. Bring it down here. Open up that room with the flare on it. And then come in here and hide under this table because it's right across the hall. From I 
I will not go. That's interesting. There's a little brick. Head up here. We're gonna use uh, fuel just enough to break down that door, is what we're gonna do. This is what my plan is, anyway. Get that fuel on us. Oh no, we put it in that little uh, box there. on this guy will be roaming the halls like he does grab this brick and this is what we're gonna do bring it down here and here's the room that we were just in Hiding underneath the thing. So, oh my god, are you kidding me? Huh? Get away 
for me. Okay, so that was that was good. Oh, we need the brick. Oh, the brick like broke. Did you see that? How the brick broke? Oh, that sucks. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. Oh, that brick broke like that. <clears throat> Save it here. All right. Huh. Interesting. Let's close these up. Let's run away. I don't need to open these up. Okay, that was successful, I think. Um. Fortunately, that brick uh, broke. Hopefully, we can still use that smaller piece of brick. And uh, I just was kind of curious with that door. That's how I had that flare on it. But, uh, you know, we did get some ammo, so let's, uh, let's load her up here. Empty shells there, get them out. Oh, one bullet. Sure, sure. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's make another, um, make another one of these. Just so we have. Uh, another good thing is we have a grenade, so we can use uh, that. That's good. We're in pretty good shape, so we got a bullet. <laughs> One bullet. We got some stuff that are kind of made up with some fuel. I would like to get some more fuel though. Alright, I don't really need to hang on to this. Grab all this ball here. So I have something in my hand to whip at whip at him. Yeah. Alright. Save it again. Um, so let's go on the search uh, for uh, another door that we can open. You hear that?
He, yeah, he broke that door right off. That monster. The beast. My baby. Shot him three times before he hacked off, backed off. Wonder what they'll be feeding those soldiers. Well, <laughs> good thing I saved it. <laughs> so that's I was hiding under the. I wonder if it's because he heard me or he saw the light. I'm thinking this would happen. Was 100% thinking this would happen there. Um, I want to go down and grab another brick. He knows there's some bricks down there. Grab another. Well, actually, you know what? We'll leave the bricks down there. Never mind. There's a brick here. Get her sneak on. is no good now. Even that uh, other brick that we brought up with us. That's quite a unfortunate. <laughs> that is quite unfortunate. Oh well. But uh, that was a good little venture. We did find something out that uh, even though we're hiding under the table, Beast can still get us. So that would be the same thing if we're hiding under a bed. Uh, the beast can, can still get us, kind of thing. This, right? So he grabbed us from under the table. I'm not too sure because maybe we were too close to the edge, but I thought I was in quite a ways. And it's like four tables put together, so. 
but I had my light on. So I'm thinking, uh, he just lost his mind and grabbed me from under the table. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we lost a brick. So we gotta find another brick. We have another grenade, so that's good. I do want to, uh, explore that little officer's quarters a little bit more. I would like to open up all those doors. Uh, possibly in the next episode. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. It's, uh, it's very thrilling. That's for sure. It's interesting. At the end of the day, it's just a game, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.